So we're seeing a new trend in what we call on-demand services, things like Uber to get a, a ride around town. But uh, we're seeing a continuation of that with this new company, Hasty, that's going to let you get healthy food delivered right to you with the press of your mobile phone. <laughs> Who are you? I'm David Langer, founder and CEO of Hasty. I'm a tech entrepreneur and also avid CrossFit athlete. Yeah, and so why, why start this company? So well, there's a couple of reasons. My personal experience is the first one. So over the last 10 years, I've been busy working on a startup, working on a college degree, but wanting to eat healthily. And if you don't want to cook and you're busy, you don't really have a good option. The existing ordering sites make it very difficult to find healthy options and maybe you know a couple of options that you can walk to nearby but they get very boring after a while so I thought if we could create an experience like Uber where in a couple of taps you can have healthy food being delivered to you that would be very powerful and then in terms of the implications that has to society where we've evolved to today is that it's very easy to get a pizza or you know, fast food from McDonald's, but it's, you know, it's hard to get healthy food. And as a result of that, 5% of the US federal budget is spent on obesity related treatment. And you know, in general, the world's getting fat, sick, unhappy. And I think a lot of it's down to poor nutrition. So if we can make it really, really easy to order healthy food by creating like the anti McDonald's, that would should have some pretty powerful consequences. Now, it's a really interesting idea. Um, you know, the mobile phone is letting us do all sorts of stuff like Uber so I can see the ride coming toward me. Are, are you doing that kind of level stuff? Because that requires an infrastructure upgrade at the restaurant level, right? So we work with restaurants own delivery drivers. Right now, we don't um, offer GPS tracking, but that is something that we're planning to roll out in the near future with the restaurants that we work with. Yeah. I certainly see, you know, 10 years from now when I want something in the, in the world, I'm just going to talk to my phone and say, hey, get me a beer and, a, and it's going to know where I'm sitting and it's going to know how to bring it to me and how to charge me for it, just like Uber does. And I, that's why I, your company caught my eye because it's like, oh, another one, you know, this is going to be a little bit of a trend over the next 10 years. Um, do, you, do you sense that? you're only going to do healthy food for 10 years or are you going to build a family of things that might bring different kinds of things into my life? So uh, well, what we're passionate about is, is making people healthier and we see the biggest problem right now being around getting food for delivery. Um, um, now in terms of where we're going to go in the future then I think it's going to take us several years to get this type of app out there to a lot of different cities across America and in the rest of the world. Beyond that, you know, I think there's a whole bunch of other things that we could do in related areas. Probably not another on-demand service for you know, another category, but more extending what we do around food to you know, other areas. No, that's cool. Um, maybe we should see it so people have a concept of what it does. It, um, yeah, let's, let's see. Cool. Um, and this is an iPhone only app right so now? So we're starting on iPhone. And it's San Francisco yeah. only. Yeah, right starting now. on iPhone, starting on San Francisco, and we're in private beta right now. If you sign up today at hastyapp.com with the invite code SCOBLE, then we'll get, let you in early and give you $10 off your first meal. Very cool. So here's Hasty. Yeah. So this is the first screen where you can choose how you want to eat. Um, this is different to how other apps work right now for ordering food. Um, a popular search is low carb, high protein. And we, here you can see we've already grabbed the location that you're at right now. So if we hit find dishes, here you can see um, dishes that are available from restaurants near here. So the top result is as a meal, which is a steak salad and a satay chicken from the Noodle Bar and Grill, which is a Thai restaurant nearby. We can flip the dish over and look at the nutrition facts if we want to. Um, and we're doing a lot of clever things behind the scenes to create this data set of nutrition from local restaurants for the first time. Um, you'll also notice that meals are not a feature that you've seen on other ordering apps. This is something that we developed after we released the private beta in response to user feedback because local restaurants have a delivery minimum. And if we already put together meals that meet the delivery minimum, then the user doesn't have to think about that. They can literally hit add to order 
Um, we explain that they can order from one restaurant in each transaction, and then they've hit the minimum, check out, and they choose pickup or delivery, and they're done. So it's literally a, a few taps. Is there any difference in price whether you pick it up or, or get it delivered? Most restaurants offer free delivery, uh, so it's, it's the same. Very cool. And the price that the consumer pays is exactly the same as if they went into the restaurant or phoned the restaurant up. The, the business model behind Hasty is that the restaurant gives us a commission, a cut of the, the meal that the consumer pays. Yeah. How many different restaurants? Or go ahead and go back so people get, cool. can get a sense of what, it, what else is in and here. And you can also um, How many different can restaurants order are? a la carte. Um, so you can look at appetizers, entrees, sides if you want to. And you can also sort the dishes um, using this button. You can sort the dishes by calories or carbs or protein, whatever you're particularly interested in. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So this really is aimed at somebody who is trying to be healthy and, and live a healthier lifestyle and lose weight, for instance. Yeah, but we're not. Other apps, I, we, there's other ordering apps, but they don't have this level of detail. Yeah, but we're, we're not prescribing you to follow a particular diet. What we're trying to create is a platform where you can eat in the way you want to, whether that is you want to you know, avoid carbs, you want to eat paleo, yeah. you want to you know, down the line follow any kind of other diet that we can support. Yeah. How many different restaurants are going to be supported when you launch next? next so month? right now we're working with 28 restaurants in the yeah. city and it'll be a, probably around that number when we, when we launch it next month and then we'll be um, adding to that over the next few months in San Francisco. We're not trying to have hundreds and hundreds of restaurants in a small city like San Francisco because one of the, the problems that we've also seen with existing ordering apps is that they sign up every restaurant in town and you don't know what the good stuff is. There's no filter on quality. What we're doing is curating the best restaurants that deliver and the healthiest restaurants. And then within those restaurants on their menu, we're curating the best menu items as well. So it's a, it's a really curated experience that we're giving the consumer so they don't have to worry so much about figuring out, well, which restaurant can I actually trust to order from? Hasty's already done that for you by selecting the restaurants that you can trust to provide you healthy food. And something else that um, is very powerful about the app is that when we work with restaurants we give them special cooking instructions in most cases so for example Chinese restaurants we work with they cook the food with no MSG no added sugar minimal salt minimal oil less brown sauce and so what you're actually getting as a consumer at the end of this is a is a different product really a much healthier product than you'd ordinarily order from the restaurant but we're not changing the menu it's the same menu item just a much healthier version of it so we're converting your local restaurants that you know and trust from not, not traditionally a supplier of healthy food into a supplier of healthy food. No, that's really interesting. And do you actually have to go around and taste the food and make sure it's uh, up to grade? Yeah, so before we put a restaurant live in the app, we, um, we do a test order from it to ensure that they're adhering to all the things that we've discussed with them before we, before we put them live. And is there a rating then that you're watching? So when, when I get my meal, I can say, oh, that was a three or a five. We'll be adding a ratings feature soon. We don't currently have that. Okay. And are you, are you learning, are you building a loyalty system? So if I order from this 20 times, that's also, get... that's also on the to-do list. Okay. Because <laughs> yeah, that gets into my book about context and understanding what people's behaviors are so you can suggest yeah. something well, else. One of the them. things that we're already seeing is that our order frequency is nearly double um, what the typical order frequency is on a Seamless, a Grubhub, a Just Eat. And we think the reason for that is that ordering a meal on Hasty is not some sort of guilty pleasure, um, you know, ordering like a pizza on a Friday night. This is something that can be part of your lifestyle that you can do several times a week and not feel guilty about it. Yep. So in terms of building a company around it, that has pretty powerful implications for things like, you know, LTV, you know, economics, and we're pretty excited about that as well. No, that, that's really pretty cool, and it, 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 verifi it verifies what I'm seeing from other companies who are doing contextual systems that learn about the customer. They get more addicted to it, they use it more often because it's personalized and, and aimed at, at them. Now this app is, because it's vertical, it's already aimed at, uh, at people very closely, so it, it'll be interesting to see where you take it from here. Um, tell me about the company. How are you funded and how many people are working on this? And so I set the company up with an old friend of mine from college, a guy called Chris Hollandale. And we've known each other for nine years. We studied maths over at Oxford in the UK. And we started working on the idea back in October last year. Uh, we haven't announced any funding to date. Um, and we're based up in San Francisco, living working out of our apartment right now. Yeah. 
What's the challenge here? Is it to build a sales team that's going to go around to the restaurants and build uh, those relationships that lead into this kind of product? You know, certainly as you get, you want to take it into London or New York or uh, you know different cities. Um, what are the so challenges? we haven't found it that difficult to sign up restaurants so far. Right, but somebody has to call and somebody has to check yeah, it's, the food it's, and, it's, um, and explain it, the concept. There's legwork required, yeah. but I think in 10 years ago, if you were seamless trying to sign up a restaurant, the pitch was, hey, let me um, send you some orders from my website where people are, are going to you know, place an order. And then once you install a fax machine in your restaurant, then you'll be able to get these orders from the people on my website. That's, you know, that, that's a hard sell. Now we're saying to people, you've already got a fax machine that prints out orders. That's, it's backwards, but that's how the restaurant online ordering industry works right now. Um, you've already got a fax machine that prints out orders. You're already probably on two or three other ordering apps. We're going to ask you to do no work, and you're going to get more orders um, from us. Uh, so it's really a no-brainer for, for restaurants to sign up. I think the challenging, most challenging things are going to be around um, creating a, you know, a really, really awesome experience, because we want to we give people a lot of power to you know, personalize the way that they're eating, whatever kind of diet they're following, make it really easy to have that. Or if they're not interested in following a diet, but just want us to give them healthy food, make that easy too. And um, give all this power whilst retaining the simplicity of an experience like Uber and creating a product on mobile when you've got limited real estate to, to do all those things. I think that's, that's gonna be the most challenging thing for us over the next couple of years. Yeah. Do you, uh, you guarantee that it'll take less than an hour or anything like that to get it delivered, or do I have to order it like the day before? To so have you order that on demand, you know, when you want food, and it's typical local restaurant delivery time. So that ranges from um, typically around 45 minutes. Sometimes it's 30 to 45, they say. Sometimes it's 45 to 60. And over time, we're going to be you know, filtering both on the health and the quality, but also on how fast restaurants are. So we want to reduce the delivery time as much as possible. But because we want to offer free delivery and therefore use the restaurant's own delivery infrastructure, we are uh, dependent upon what speeds they have. Yeah, well, that's really, really cool. And having the, the review is going to be key to that, because if they say it's 45 to 60 minutes, then it shows up in two hours. Uh, that will go into my review of the restaurant. Yeah, and things to... if restaurants, you know, do things like that, or they don't follow the you know cooking instructions we give them, we'll, we'll just boot them off the system if they if they you know do that two or three times because we can't you know we we want to um, deliver on the promise we're making to our customers, and part of doing that is having a highly curated set of restaurants that are all the things that we're promising. Yeah, I'm sure I'm going to hear from my Android friends because I have an Android phone too. When are you coming to other platforms? So. Later this year, I don't have an exact date for you. Uh, we're going to be focused on making the app really awesome on iPhone first, and then once we've you know, once we've got that to a good place, then replicating that over to Android. Uh, that makes sense. Um, and there's not a web component to this, so I can't do it w with my old web browser, right? It's just for I think iPhone. We, yeah. We're likely to do a, a website in the future as well where you can order, but there's some interesting um, data that we've, we've found about online or slash mobile food ordering. So. Just Eat published some data, they're the biggest company globally, and Seamless has got, got similar data, where in the fourth quarter of 2011, 10% of Just Eat's orders were from mobile devices. Fourth quarter of 2012, 40% of orders were from mobile devices. Yeah. Today, it's over 50% of orders are coming from mobile devices. So there's a big shift in the way that consumers are ordering food from the web to mobile. And we think that by being you know, the company approaching this with a mobile-first strategy, it gives us a significant advantage over all these web-first guys. That said, things, use cases like people wanting to order in the office, um, there's still likely to be a lot of demand for a web service. So I think the web will become like the, the new IE6, where you kind of have to grudgingly support it, even, <laughs> even though you don't want to. No, it, it makes sense. but. It so, certainly makes sense to get this kind of stuff done in, in mobile and next year with glass, because I just want to say, hey, deliver me a Chinese dinner, you know, chicken and whatnot, and uh, have it just deliver, showed up when I get home. Yeah, I mean, that's another platform that we, we'd love to utilize when we, when we get around to it. Yeah. Thank you so much. Where do I get it? What, what, so what should I search for in go the app to, store? Um, We're not in the app store yet, but yeah. if you go to Hasty app, H-A-S-T-Y, app.com. You can sign up for our private beta today. And if you use the invite code SCOBLE, then we'll let you in early and we'll give you $10 off your first meal. Yeah, very cool. That's awesome. very kind of you. So thank you so much. I'll Thanks, Robert. Out.